everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy spring. I am so excited that the springtime is finally here. I'm really looking forward to the consistent sunny days, warm weather, and my favorite rooftop season. So with the spring here, it's time to do a little bit of spring cleaning. I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel where I take you all on the journey of organizing and decorating my kitchen. I really think it's important that your kitchen is clean and as clutter free as possible. And while it does take time to figure out what works best for you, I hope through this series that I can share a few tips and tricks on how I organize my space. I'm currently living in an apartment, so my space is a little bit more limited, but I have found a few items that I believe will maximize the space that I do have. So throughout this series, I'm going to share with you all how I organize my bar cart, how I organize my mini pantry, my fridge, my kitchen shelves, my countertop, and all of my cabinets. So in today's video, I'm going to start off with a mini haul, and then we're going to go organize my fridge. So I'll start with what I got from the container store. Marie Kondo started a new collection at the Container Store and when it was released I was so excited because I've been watching a few of her videos on Netflix and she is an organizing queen. She released these berry containers. They're ceramic and they can go in your fridge and I just thought they were going to be so cute. I can put my strawberries in there and my blueberries, blackberries, raspberries as well. So now I have a bigger bag from the container store and I picked up some more of my pop containers. You all will see this in my pantry organization video but I have so many of these now. I picked up some from different places too. So I've picked up some from Home Goods, Costco has them on sale, Bed Bath & Beyond has them on sale and then container store had this mini set on sale as well. So I have never paid full price for these. I recommend that you do not. At least go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I know they consistently have a coupon. Costco has them at a discount as well. So don't pay full price for these because they can get pricey. And then I have four of these medium cabinet shelves. And I put a few underneath my sink where I have my cleaning supplies so that it's raised up a bit and I'll share that with you all in the next few videos. And then I also picked up a few extras if I want to test it out in my cabinets. And then some more things that I got for my cabinets are these sorters. So I got the large four sort divider and these can be used for my cookware my pans and lids. Next up from CB2, I have been looking at this for quite a bit of time, but I never knew if it was actually gonna be my aesthetic. I'm still trying to figure out decor wise how I'm gonna decorate this kitchen. I am struggling. If anybody has some tips, comment down below what you think would look nice. My theme is white, gold, and then like black appliances but sometimes the black is a little bit too rustic, not really my vibe, it's just not working for me. And then I love flowers, but the vase that I got, actually from CB2, I might take it back, it's just not working for me. But one thing that did work for me from CB2 is this utensil holder. Since my appliances are black and this would be on my countertop, I decided to go with a black marble utensil holder and this is very heavy like so heavy I was not expecting it to be this heavy so it's like real marble and it spins a little bit I really like this and then I also picked up this vase that I wanted for my shelves but some flowers that I got in there my shelf just isn't tall enough and then it doesn't look good on the counter space so I may or may not take this back. I think I'm leaning on taking it back. But everything else, good to go for kitchen organization. So let's get started on cleaning and organizing my fridge. This is what my fridge looked like towards the end of the week. I was running low on groceries and it clearly became a mess. The first thing you'll want to do is take all of your groceries out of your fridge and toss out anything that has expired. Once 
once everything is taken out, you'll most likely realize minor spills that have been hiding under your groceries. So now it's time to deep clean. I typically deep clean my fridge at least once a month. I start by taking my drawers out and using my Dawn Power Wash Spray to clean them out with water. I also wash my new ceramic containers and egg container. Next, you'll want to clean the inside of your fridge. I'm using Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day Multi-Surface Cleaner and I spray all over the inside of my fridge. Then I took a microfiber cloth to clean the surfaces. After I removed all the dirt, I used my Method Antibacterial Spray, let it sit for around 10 minutes, and then wiped it clean with another microfiber cloth. The anti-back spray does have a stronger smell, so I would recommend that you turn on a fan and leave your fridge open for another 5 to 10 minutes to make sure all the surfaces are dry. Once everything is all squeaky clean, now it's time to organize. I really love these drink containers that I picked up from Home Goods. I typically buy different brands of juices and milks, so all of the containers are different shapes and sizes. Having these containers provides more uniformity in my fridge and I love it. I typically finish my juices every week, but I may add a sticker on the back where I can write the expiration date. My fridge is on the smaller side and the veggie drawer that I use can't hold all of the groceries I typically purchase. Also, some of my veggies go bad quickly because they're all stuffed in one drawer. I purchased these veggie storage bins that are designed to extend produce life by maximizing airflow with the basket and the vents on the top. Another great organizational product I recommend is a salad spinner. Initially, I only purchased one, but I do like to always have a mix of kale, spinach, or lettuce in my fridge. I purchased these spinners from Ikea, and while they do take up more space in the fridge, I think they're worth it because it extends the freshness of my greens. Meal prepping is essential, but some weeks it just isn't possible. If you don't have time to fully meal prep, I recommend at least prepping your ingredients. For example, I'll chop my veggies up and place them in a glass container so they're easily accessible throughout the week. If you like adding lemon and lime to your water frequently, consider using these small pop containers to prep your slices for a few days. I started doing this last year and it saves me so much time in the mornings. Having a clear egg container is a great way to quickly show how many you have left in your fridge. If you want to organize your condiments, nut butters, etc. in a better way, I recommend dividing them into these clear containers that can easily be pulled out and you can grab what you need. I love the Marie Kondo containers so much that I went back to the container store to purchase a larger one for my grapes. I find that fruit does go bad quickly if you pre-wash and place the fruit in a closed container. So I recommend storing fruit in containers like these or even the veggie bins and wash your fruit when you're ready to use them. I purchased this premium cheese storage paper from my local grocery store and it keeps my cheese lasting longer. I recommend that you keep a baking soda box at the back of your fridge. You have to change it every 30 days to keep your fridge fresh, so that it's perfect to keep you on track with deep cleaning every month. I never keep soda in my fridge, but besides my juices and milks, I keep sparkling water handy. On the first shelf, I add my fruit as well as yogurt that can be used for parfaits and smoothies. On the second shelf, I added my condiment bins and eggs. 
In a small drawer, I added all the lemons and limes I use for drinks and in my meals. In the bottom two drawers, I added fruits and veggies that I don't pre-cut. And on the bottom shelf, I added my salad spinners, veggie bins, and prepped food. Initially, I added my water at the bottom of my fridge. But since I drink water more frequently throughout the day, I actually think it's better to keep my water in the fridge drawer and add my milk to the bottom. This should also allow the milk to not spoil as quickly being in the door. In my door, I also keep my butter, juices, and condiments on the bottom. So this is the finished product. Lots of improvement from the beginning of this video. And over the next few months, I'll see if I like this system better. And if I make any significant updates, I'll share them with you all. I hope you found this first video helpful. Feel free to comment down below if you did, and also comment what organizational video you are most excited about. Until my next video, I hope you have a wonderful day.